Hi, DMS. Welcome back to another DMS broadcast. Hey, Lena. I'm really in the mood to run right now. Oh my god, me too. I heard Samantha's telling us about the track season, so why don't we go check it out? Hey, DMS. It's Samantha, and today I'm going to be interviewing Coach French and Anna about track. When is the first track meet? Our first track meet is March 29th at Brittany Hill. Why did you decide to coach track? I wanted to become a track coach here at DMS because it is one of the very few sports in eighth grade that a majority of the athletes have never done before. Um, it's something that they've um, never experienced, so everything's new to them, which makes it really fun to coach because they're so eager to learn and so eager to try new events. And a lot of times kids find out they're really good at something that they had no idea they could do, which makes the growth um, really fun to watch. What are you gonna do to prepare the team for the meets? So we prepare the athletes in a variety of ways. The first couple weeks of practice, um, it's just about getting in shape and getting their bodies um, able to run without getting too tired. Um, once the first couple weeks of practice are in the books, then we start um, focusing on um, single events. For example, um, sprinters will work on sprinting workouts, distance runners will work on distance, and then we really start focusing in on the field events, long jump, triple jump, high jump, shot and disc, and um, that just is one more aspect that we practice on to get kids more um, comfortable for the meet. Oh my gosh. Why are you doing track? I decided to try out for track because I thought it would be really fun to run with my friends and I like doing sprints. How are you going to prepare yourself for the meets? I'm going to work hard and practice now so it can pay off when we have meets. I hope you come and support the track team at some of their meets. Now let's run it back to the anchors. <laughs> wow, I'm really glad she told us all about that, but I'm kind of hungry now. I'm starving. I heard Kaden and Alex were making mug cakes. Why don't we go check to see how it tastes? Dump both cake mixes into a large Ziploc bag. Close bag tightly and mix them together. Add three tablespoons of mixture to mug. Add two tablespoons of water to the mug and mix together. Microwave for one minute. I think and enjoy. Now let's see what cooking with the anchors. Those were so good. You know what sounds fun right now? What? Playing with slime. Oh, I heard Gigi is making slime and Lucy's reviewing it.
Thank you for watching my slime tutorial. I'm going to stretch it back to the anchors. That was really good slime. I know. I think we should go see what Lucy thinks of it. Hey DMS, it's Lucy, and today I'm going to be reviewing Gigi's awesome slimes. This is Gigi's cloud slime. It's not very stretchy, but the texture is really good. And I rate this slime a 8.5 out of 10. This is Gigi's fluffy slime and I rate it a 10 out of 10 because it's very good and the texture is really good. <laughs> this is Gigi's crunchy slime. It is not very stretchy and whenever you stretch it, beads go everywhere. So I rate this a one out of 10. Those were amazing slimes, Gigi. Thanks for watching, DMS. Take it to the anchors. That was good slime. What's wrong? I'm just kind of upset right now. Oh, well, I heard Aubrey is telling us some jokes, so why don't we go see if they cheer you up? Hey, DMS, it's Aubrey, and we all know that in April, it's April Fool's Day, and we know that sometimes it gets a little messy. April Fool's Day is the first day of April, and in the 1700s, English pranksters began to make this holiday an annual holiday. This holiday was originated in France and is rumored to be originated in the Netherlands also. This is a day where you can play funny jokes and pranks on your friends and family. And that is how we got to this. Hi, Dr. Dickerson. You'll never believe what happened in room 117. The teacher's not here and we need a lot of help. Well now, I hope everybody's ready for April Fool's Day. It's Aubrey, and we should go back to see what the anchors are up to. Well, that's it for now, DMS. Have a great rest of your week. Remember to be respectful, be responsible, and cause kindness. Bye, DMS.